Hello, it's me, Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist. You might have noticed I haven't been around too much lately, last couple weeks. I guess I'm still recovering from Gateway to Reason. Uh, that was a fantastic conference. A lot packed into it. Didn't get a lot of sleep, had a lot of fun. Uh, it was great for me because I've been to several of these conferences. So for me, I got to see a lot of friends. Uh, but I encourage everyone to go to this kind of event. Not only to meet new and interesting people, and all the speakers were fantastic, by the way. Uh, I did manage to see just about all of them, uh, but there was so much packed in that in order to eat, I had to miss out on some, so such is life. But it was a really great conference, and I've got to thank, a big thanks, to Thomas True for putting it together. Uh, this is the second time he did this, and I think this one again went off without a hitch, uh, even though he had even more packed into it. Uh, and I really got to thank Michael Noble, who was the financial backing for this event. Um, this kind of conference is pretty expensive to put together. Uh, there's just the cost of getting speakers there is substantial and, and putting them up. And a lot of the speakers for this event actually comp their time because Thomas wanted to have a cheap conference, he only charged 50 bucks, uh, that would allow anybody to attend. Um, wish there had been more people there, but uh, you know, such is life. Maybe the next time you'll go, because it is really a worthwhile event to go to. Um, one thing I wish I would have seen, we had one Christian there, Sarah Klossner. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Um, she was on a panel, but she was there, even though she's a Christian, uh, hanging out with us, mostly, primarily, atheists. But I'd like to see more religious people come to events like this. Not to protest, but to take part, to learn something. I think it's important that every so often that you surround yourself with people who think differently than you do. That is why I go to church every so often, so I can talk to people who all think the same thing, which is the exact opposite of what I think. Um, not completely, but uh, I think it's important that we, on occasion, put ourselves in situations that are outside of our comfort zone. Even though me, I'm comfortable everywhere. Anyway, Gateway to Reason was a fantastic event because of the many speakers and their podcasters and comedians. Steve Hill and uh, Keith Little Jensen did a great set. Uh, even David Smalley did his comedy bit, and he did a really good job. Uh, and David Smalley also did Dogma Debate. He did a live Dogma Debate, and uh, I got to be part of it. I asked the question and uh, found out everyone loves me. No, just kidding. Um, but mostly it was just seeing friends. and. I just, I, I can't even express how good it feels to be around like-minded people for a weekend, uh, knowing that no matter what I ha have to say, people will not necessarily understand or agree, but they will let me express myself without fear of being, oh, you're an asshole. Uh, actually, David Smalley did a great uh, talk about basically how online it is very easy for us to not get along and find that little bit that we disagree on and, and get all in each other's face um, online. Though, when we're in person, it's much easier to see that 95% of the things that we do have in common and focus on that, which I think is, is a wonderful example, which again, is another reason why people should come to events like these and why religious people should come to events like these. To find out that there's not nearly as much that separates our points of view than we think there is because what we see online is always those things that we disagree on and we can get all worked up about that. And uh, I think it's important to find a place where we can find the areas in which we do agree with one another. Um, anyways, I did want to give a call out to Phil Ferguson who was kind enough to share his room, and to David and Dana, who shared their room. And it was great to uh, spend an extra day there. There were several people who, uh, the conference ended on Sunday afternoon, and there were several people who stayed until Monday. So Sunday night, actually got to spend time with people, because the rest of the conference was so packed, there was very little time to really get together, because there's just so much going on all the time. 
Uh, I wish more people would come to events like these because they're a lot of fun. And I think it's a good way to expose yourself to new ideas. All the speakers at this conference, and I interviewed a lot of these people, so hopefully you saw some of the interviews that I did of the speakers. Um, but they have different points of view that you may not be thinking about. And it's good to expose yourself to these things or things that you're unaware of. Uh, Sally Hunt did a great talk on how there is a group in uh, the St. Louis area, uh, Thrive, that is sneaking in religious-based sex ed. And they're calling it secular or they're, or they're, they're hiding the fact that it's very religious-based. And they're teaching abstinence and that you know abortions are evil and you know just complete crap. And people need to be aware of things like this so that they can take action. Which is another thing these events do, these conferences, uh, allow you to be exposed to things that you might feel strongly about that you'll want to take action on. Uh, I also want to give a call out to Mendeza Thomas of Black Nonbelievers. Uh, I actually bought a t-shirt because she convinced me that as an atheist, I need to put it out there more. Uh, religious people are constantly, they got their clothing and their jewelry, so they're constantly putting it out there that they're religious. And as atheists, we don't necessarily, we don't really have anything specifically to show that we're atheists. I mean, there's uh, the a pin and a few other things, uh, but I got a black non-believers shirt that I am now going to wear every time I go give blood, just to make people aware, though nobody asked me last time, um, but basically to put it out there, I'm an atheist, ask me a question, find out what atheists are really all about, and really, we're all about the same thing everyone else is about. Which brings me to another point. Uh, I started another YouTube channel called Garden Variety Atheist. Uh, and the reason why I started that channel is because I don't want to talk about atheism all the time. Um, that channel is about gardening and I've got a beehive now. So it's about beekeeping um, and it's about product reviews and just miscellaneous things with basically anything that comes to mind. And I announce myself as an atheist, and that's where it ends. I just tell people I'm an atheist, and then I go on and talk about whatever, because I want people to understand that as an atheist, I'm just like everyone else. There's nothing special about being an atheist other than I don't think there's a God. And a lot of people don't really think about the fact that there are a lot of atheists around them that are not necessarily afraid to say that they're an atheist, but they kind of hide that fact. And I don't want to hide that fact. I want to put it out there. I want people to say, oh, there's another atheist. Hi, atheist. You know, because <laughs> got all these Christians and Muslims and Jews and Hindus and all these religions that are very obviously religious. And atheists, it's easy for us to hide. And I don't want to hide. I mean, I've never really hidden, but I want to put it out there more without really putting it in anybody's face. Just saying, I'm an atheist. Let's move on. Anyways, I haven't done a video in a while and I just wanted to do a quick video, even though this video is not so quick, because uh, I noticed I'm getting some more subscribers, which is wonderful. Hello, new subscribers. And uh, even though I haven't posted anything for a while, and I'm hoping uh, they can check out my backlog because I've been doing this for a few years now, uh, which seems crazy. Uh, I just wanted to say hello and give an update, tell you a little bit about Gateway to Reason and other conferences. In fact, this weekend is the American Atheist Conference, uh, which I actually really wanted to go to, but there were various reasons why I didn't. Uh, one of which I wanted to spend the solar eclipse, which is on this Monday, um, with my daughter. I wanted to experience that with her, even though the American Atheist Conference, the solar eclipse is, you know, playing not a big role, but it's, that's when, when they're not selling points, but you know, when things are going, oh, we're doing the solar eclipse, us atheists, we're causing the sun to get blocked out. How cool is that? But really, I wanted to encourage people to go to events like that. Uh, hope you'll, again, watch the interviews that I did. 
Uh, David Silverman, who's the president of American Atheist, he's down there, of course, and uh, many people that I saw at Gateway are going to be at the American Atheist Conference, and hopefully I'll see these people at other events fairly soon, because there's several events like these, and there's meetup groups, and there's different things that, as an atheist, I think we need to get out and expose ourselves. Uh, not so much a lack of clothing, but expose ourselves as atheists to promote the idea that atheists are all around you and we're just normal people and nothing particularly special about being an atheist. Uh, people who are religious tend to think they're special. They think they're, you know, part of God's plan. Uh, but as atheists, we, they, we don't think there is a plan. So we're just out there. We're everywhere and we're friendly. At least I am. I try to be. Anyways, this is my update video. And uh, hello, new subscribers. And go tell your friends and family to subscribe too because uh, I want to say hi to them. And please check out my other YouTube channel, Garden Variety Atheist. Uh, you'll notice Garden Variety. It's about gardening. Or at least that was the idea. Now it's mostly about beekeeping because I got bees. Bees are cool. Um, so lots of bee videos. And anyways, <laughs> I'll catch you next time. Bye.